Hello students, welcome back to Clary Concepts, Unleashing Conceptual Learning. Today we will be solving various numerical examples based on Bernoulli's equation. So those of you who have not yet gone through my previous lecture where I made you understand about the Bernoulli's equation and its derivation, please go through that first and then come back in this lecture. And this today's lecture is very very important because most of the exams, whether it is competitive or university exams, they do have numericals based on Bernoulli's equation. So please do solve it carefully. Okay. So first example is water flows through a tapered pipe of reducing cross-sectional area. So it, I have been given a pipe, tapered pipe of reducing cross-sectional area and water is flowing through that. Pipe diameter at inlet and outlet section is 20 cm and 10 cm respectively. So what I have been given is a pipe which is of tapered section. The pipe diameter at the inlet if fluid is flowing from left to right. The inlet diameter is 20 cm and outlet diameter is 10 cm. The velocity and pressure of water at inlet is 4 meter per second and 190 kPa. So at this particular inlet, the velocity and pressure are given to you. Find the velocity and pressure at the outlet section of the pipe. So you need to find V2 and P2 if the pipe axis is horizontal and parallel to the ground. So if the pipe is totally horizontal and parallel to the ground. So let me just draw sectional view. If I draw sectional view, I can see a cross section of the pipe something like this, whereas the Fluid is filled between the pipe, fluid is flowing through the pipe, water. This is centroidal axis, center axis of the pipe. Let us mark this inlet section to be 1 and outlet section to be 2. Okay. Now what is given to us? I have been given velocity and pressure at this section. So I can see that given data, given data. Firstly, I have been given the diameter that is at the inlet. So D1 is equals to 20 centimeter. Always keep it a habit to convert all the values in the SI unit. So you convert this centimeter into meter, you will get 0 0.2 meter. Then D2 which is outlet diameter is 10 centimeter, which is 0 0.1 meter. Then velocity and pressure V1 is given to you as 4 meter per second, which is, op which is already in SI unit. Pressure 1 is given to you as 190 kilo Pascal. See, kilo is given to you, you convert that to just Pascal. So multiply by 1000 to get the Pascal, right? Find the velocity and pressure. So you need to find V2 and P2. So firstly, if you see, uh, if you talk about the section 1 and 2, can I say mass entering the section or rather, rather let's say flow rate entering the section Q1 should be equals to amount of fluid leaving section Q2 because it is incompressible flow because of water and when flow rate, there is a steady flow. So I can say that Q1 is equals to Q2. So let's say 5 liter of water is entering this section in one second. Therefore, 5 liter should also leave this section in one second because volume of this water inside this particular pipe should remain constant. So what is Q1? Can I say Q1 is equals to velocity V1 into normal area A1, A1, V1. And what is Q2? It is A2, V2. See, flow rate is always what? Normal area, that is circular area is a cross-sectional area, circular cross-sectional area at 1, that is A1 into velocity, normal velocity is V1. So, A1, A1 will reflect the discharge, that is flow rate Q1 and A2, V2 is Q2. So, what is A1? Pi by 4, D1 square into V1 equals to pi by 4, D2 square into V2, pi by 4 is cancelled. I want V2, so V2 will be equals to v1 into d1 by d2 whole square, isn't it? So now you put the values. You have v1 that is 4 meter per second. Diameter at 1 is how much? 0 0.2. Diameter at 2 is 0 0.1. Square of that and v2 should be, let me calculate. That is 16 meters per second. So you got answer number 1. Answer 1. Now you are supposed to find the pressure at point 2. So for pressure, let us apply applying Bernoulli's theorem, Bernoulli's equation between section 1 and 2. What will I get? See, I say that P by rho g plus v square by 2g plus z equals to constant. So, if I apply Bernoulli here and here, I can say that 
p1 वन बाय रो जी प्लस वी वन स्क्वायर बाय टू जी प्लस जेड वन शुड बी इक्वल्स टू पी टू बाय रो जी प्लस वी टू स्क्वायर बाय टू जी प्लस जेड टू नाउ इफ यू लुक एट जेड वन एंड जेड टू लेट्स से फॉर एग्जांपल दिस इज द डेटम लाइन समवेयर ओवर हियर दिस इज डेटम लाइन फ्रॉम वेयर जेड एंड जेड एंड जेड आर मेशर्ड राइट सो जेड इज वॉट डिस्टेंस ऑफ दिस पॉइंट सेंटर सेक्शन Z1 and Z2 is what this distance. Now, since the pipe is horizontal, Z1 should be equal to Z2 by default because it is horizontal and parallel to the ground. So this will get cancelled from both the sides. Now, in the entire equation, if you see, you can uh, take G common then out. So from all the equation, if you multiply with G everywhere on both the sides, you see, you multiply with G, G will also get cancelled from everywhere. So you left with is P by rho. Plus v1 square by 2 equals to p2 by rho plus v2 square by 2. Simply put the values so you can take p2 by rho is you want p2 right? It is p1 divided by rho plus you take v2 on the left hand side v1 square minus v2 square divided by 2. Further, if you do resolution, this is p2 will be equal to multiply rho. So p1 you multiply rho over here rho rho will get cancelled plus Rho by 2 into v1 square minus v2 square. Now put the values. What is p1? P1 was 190 kPa, so it is 190 into 1000 because it is kilo, right? Plus, what is rho density? 1000 divided by two density of water, right? What is v1 square? V1 was uh, 4 meter per second, so it is 4 square minus 16 square. V2 is 16, right? If you remember, we have found V2 as 16 minus 16 square. So I'll just do the calculation: 4 square minus 16 square into 500. Okay, then plus 190000. That is, P2 will be equals to 70,000 Pascal. That is P2 is 70 kPa. So your final pressure at the outlet is 70 kPa, and velocity at the outlet is 16 meters per second. Let me check the answer. Yes. Yeah, the answer is correct. So I hope you understood this example, and uh, let us move on to the next case, next example that we have today. Water is flowing through a pipe having diameters 20 cm and 10 cm at section one and two, respectively, as shown in figure. So I have been given a figure. Section one is over here. Section two is over here, right? So diameter at one is 20 cm. So D1 is 20 cm is 0.2 meter. Directly, I am writing the values. And D2, which is the 10 centimeter of diameter, which is 0.1 meter. Okay. The rate of flow through the pipe is 35 liters per second. So Q is given to me as 35 liters per second. Again, liters per second is not the SI unit. So what I will do? I will divide it by 1000 to get the meter cube. So this will be 0.035 meter cube per second. So flow rate is 0.035 meter cube per second. Section one is six meter above the datum line, and section two is four meter above the datum line. That means what? Datum line is given to you. Section one is six meter above, and section two is four meter above. So you have been given Z one is six meter, and Z two is four meter. Simply, if the pressure at section one is 39.24 newton per centimeter square, P one is 39.24 newton. Per centimeter square, find the intensity of pressure at section number two. Simply, now firstly convert this newton per centimeter square into meter square, right? So how do you do that? Simply look at uh, view. I mean, give pay your attention over here. P one is thirty nine point two four newton per centimeter square. You want this to be in meter square, right? Newton per meter square for the SI unit. So what do you do? Always try to see which one you want to convert. You want to convert centimeter into meter. So what is one centimeter? It is zero point zero one meter. So you put zero point zero one meter. Or else you know it is ten to the power minus two. It is one 
सेंटीमीटर इज टेन रेज टू माइनस टू मीटर एंड देन स्क्वायर ऑफ दैट टेन रेज टू माइनस टू स्क्वायर विल भी माइनस फोर माइनस फोर विल गो अप विल बिकम प्लस फोर सो थर्टी नाइन पॉइंट टू फोर इन टू टेन रेज टू प्लस फोर न्यूटन पर एंड मीटर स्क्वायर विल भी एज इज मीटर स्क्वायर सो दिस इज दी वैल्यू ऑफ प्रेशर पी वन इन न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर ओके नाउ वॉट वी नीड टू फाइंड वी नीड टू फाइंड प्रेशर इंटेंसिटी एट सेक्शन टू पी टू इज नॉट नॉन टू अस वी नीड टू फाइंड दैट सो फर्स्ट लेट अस लुक एट बर्नोलिज इक्वेशन इफ आई अप्लाई बर्नोलिज थियरम बिटवीन सेक्शन वन एंड टू सो आई कैन से पी बाय रो जी प्लस वी वन स्क्वायर बाय टू जी प्लस जेड वन शुड बी इक्वल्स टू पी टू बाय रो जी प्लस वी टू स्क्वायर बाय टू जी प्लस जेड टू आई वॉन्ट पी टू सो आई कैन टेक पी टू ऑन वन साइड एंड ऑल दी अदर टर्म्स ऑन दर साइड आई गेट पी टू बाय रो जी शुड बी इक्वल्स टू पी वन बाय रो जी प्लस वी वन स्क्वायर माइनस वी टू स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय टू जी बिकॉज टू जी इज सेम एंड प्लस जेड वन माइनस जेड टू ना इफ यू वॉन्ट पी टू यू टेक रो जी वन द राइट हैंड साइड यू मल्टीप्लाई दैट विद ऑल दी टर्म्स यू विल गेट पी वन प्लस बिकॉज पी वन बाय रो जी इन टू रो जी विल गेट कैंसल प्लस वी वन स्क्वायर माइनस वी टू स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय टू जी इन टू रो जी प्लस रो जी जेड वन माइनस जेड टू सो जी विल ऑल्सो गेट कैंसल नाउ लेट मी नो ऑल द वैल्यूज आर अवेलेबल आर नॉट पी वन यस इट इज नॉन टू मी वी वन एंड वी टू आर नॉट अवेलेबल विद मी अदरवाइज ऑल दी वैल्यूज आर अवेलेबल विद मी सो हाउ डू यू गेट वी वन एंड वी टू सो लेट मी फर्स्ट कैलकुलेट वी वन एंड वी टू हाउ डू यू कैलकुलेट वी वन वी टू सी फ्लोरेट इज गिवन टू यू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री फाइव मीटर क्यू पर सेकेंड कैन आई से क्यू इज इक्वल्स टू ए वन वी वन सो वी वन इज इक्वल्स टू क्यू डिवाइडेड बाई ए वन सो देर फॉर वी वन इज इक्वल्स टू वॉट क्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री फाइव वॉट इज एरिया वन पाए बाय फोर डी वन स्क्वायर वॉट इज डी वन डी वन इज जीरो पॉइंट टू लेट मी कैलकुलेट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री फाइव टू फोर डिवाइडेड बाई पाए डिवाइडेड बाई पॉइंट टू स्क्वायर दैट इज कमिंग आउट टू बी वन पॉइंट वन वन फोर मीटर पर सेकेंड सो वी वन इज वन पॉइंट वन वन फोर मीटर पर सेकेंड ना वॉट इज वी टू फॉर वी टू आई कैन से क्यू इज इक्वल्स टू ए टू वी टू सो देर फॉर वी टू इज इक्वल्स टू क्यू डिवाइडेड बाई एरिया टू क्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री फाइव एरिया टू इज फाइव बाई फोर डी टू स्क्वायर डी टू इज जीरो पॉइंट वन स्क्वायर अगेन सो दिस इज पॉइंट जीरो थ्री फाइव इंटू फोर डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव इंटू डिवाइडेड बाई पॉइंट वन स्क्वायर द वी टू इज कमिंग आउट टू बी फोर पॉइंट फोर फाइव सिक्स मीटर्स पर सेकेंड सो वी गॉट वी वन एंड वी टू नाउ कैन यू यूज द इक्वेशन टू फाइंड द आंसर येस पी टू इज इक्वल्स टू थ्री नाइन पॉइंट टू फोर इन टू टेन रेज टू फोर बिकॉज वी फाउंड दैट इन न्यूटर मीटर स्क्वायर प्लस वी रो बाई टू रो इज थाउजेंड फॉर वाटर राइट बाई टू इन टू वी वन स्क्वायर वी वन इज इक्वल्स टू वन पॉइंट वन वन फोर वन पॉइंट वन वन फोर स्क्वायर माइनस वी टू इज फोर पॉइंट फोर फाइव सिक्स स्क्वायर ओके प्लस रो इज थाउजेंड जी इज नाइन पॉइंट एट वन and z1 minus z2 that is 6 minus 4 now just calculate this and give me the answer so first let me calculate this particular part 1.114 square minus 4.456 square into 500 plus 1000 into 9.81 into 2 plus 392412 this will give me 402 Seven one two point five three Pascal pressure. This is answer. Let me check. Four zero point two seven ten to the power four. Perfect. So I hope you got the answer of pressure at section number intensity of pressure at the section number two, which is this. And if you want to convert this into newton per centimeter square, you have to divide it by ten to the power four. When you divide by ten to the power four, you will get P two equals to forty. 0.27 newton per centimeter square by default we will get it in pascal that is newton per meter square but if you want in newton per centimeter square you divide by 10000 you will get 40.27 clear so i hope you understood this thank you so much see you in the next class where we will continue with the numerical uh, solving thank you